Hello, everybody. Flaming Shark back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to episodes 154 through 156 of Gintama. Another three episodes, recording this the day after recording 151 to 153. I'm excited to watch some more Gintama. Should be a lot of fun. Three more episodes. We also should be getting, in, the, in fact, we should be starting this reaction off with the King Tama finale, so I'm very excited for that because they did tease the final episode of King Tama in the last episode, so I'm excited to see where that goes uh, because that has been an amusing start to the previous few episodes. But uh, yeah, another three episodes of King Tama. Last set was amusing. We had the two episode um, Barber arc, and then we had the sleeping arc, uh, sleeping episode last time. So. That was all fun. I'm excited to see what comes next. We're not going to waste any time, not going to mess around, just jump straight into taking a look at the title for episode 154, which is that guy looks different than usual on his birthday. I don't know whose birthday it's going to be. It literally could be anyone. Who knows? I'm excited. Don't really have a prediction for that because, yeah, I mean, it's gonna, somebody, it's someone's birthday, presumably some dude, apparently, uh, yeah, who knows who that's potentially gonna be, but uh, whoever it is will obviously be, uh, it'll be their birthday and they look different for whatever reason. Maybe they have a different aura, a different vibe, a different energy uh, going on because it's their birthday, or maybe it's something infinitely more ridiculous because this show is ridiculous. So, I guess we'll find out. So, let's jump into episode 154 of Gintama in 3, 2, 1, and play. Yep, here we go. Final episode of Gintama. I still can't get over how Kagura looks in this. Ketsuagu Shimpachi and Sakura Kintoki. Kintama, baby. Here we go. Yep, it all comes back to that damn ass chin. Yep. Mm-hmm. King Toki. I yep. Uh, so that explains why they were in the, uh, why we had the, uh, we were in a hospital when, uh, Kagura and Shimpachi were crying and King Toki was chillin'. Bro, this is giving me uh, Spongebob vibes, if you know the episode. You probably do. Ironically, it's kind of, in, in a in weird way, it's almost the opposite of this. Is it going to be just regular, like, Gintama Shimpachi? <laughs> it's addiction. Yep, yep, bro's got addiction now. That's crazy. And then he killed himself at the end. Goaded. What the hell? That's not how I expected our King Tom arc to end, but sure. Dude, the energy of this OP is great. Just, just Gintoki running for his life and running into all these ridiculous characters that we met over the, over this wonderful journey that has been Gintama. Mm. 
I'm your wit way generation. One way. There really are quietly a lot of really pretty men in this show, low key. Just a just a casual observation, you know. No, there's no message. It's just the music. There, no message today. No, like, sponsorship stuff. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh! Peak! Peak! Best character's birthday. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's Yagi U time. Let's fucking go. Oh yeah, I'm ready to see Kyubei again. Let's fucking go. Someone I've been missing to see. And who better? Who who better? Bro, I can't wait. We all know Otai is Otai's birthday present is absolutely going to involve some crazy feminine outfit. You know it's coming. They've been teasing that shit. Just look at the last OP. Aw. Oh my god! That guy looks different than usual on his birthday party. Makes even, is even it's wild when it refers to Cube. Oh yes, buy, they're gonna buy her something weird. But I'm actually worried that you're gonna buy that you bought Cube something weird. Yep, yep, of course. The goat. Oh, does, is Cube not a. Aw. Let's go. Yeah, that sounds about right. We have a program lineup that's that's sick. What the fuck? Why is there a script? Well, it is an episode of Gintama, so there, of course, there has to be a script. And and, and Sunrise will get very upset if you don't if you don't speak your lines right on cue. Oh no! Have we? Oh, okay. I was gonna say I have no I have no idea who that is. Ogri Shinosuke, huh? Okay, so all these famous people are showing up. It's literally gonna be a bunch of famous people. What the hell? What the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know if you two are properly or are, 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 are dressed properly for this. Oh, that's sick. I mean, this is a bit much for a party, but. Mm. Yep. Got some French action. Well, there's Gein. I saw Gein in the background. Damn, damn, that's savage to say that. Wow, uh, that explains the script. That's crazy, though. That's crazy thing to say to guess. That's wild. Hopefully that doesn't piss Otai off. 
I'm really hoping that doesn't set her off. Sure. They don't even look like they're alive. I didn't see a a pixel or a frame of animation. Why is the turtle shell there? Yeah. Yeah. The turtle episode was wild. That actually might have been more than one episode. Yeah, this is creepy. I mean, this camera pan's pretty awesome. Oh my god, they're playing life. Based. Nice! No, no. Shut your hole is crazy. Also, these three have lost their fucking mind. What do you think about this, Gein? <laughs> Holy shit. And that's one way to, to bring Hasegawa right back down to Earth. Yeah, hit him with the Madao is uh, a good way. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you were expecting. This is right on the money for these three, to be honest. Wow. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, honestly, dude. This is demon mode, Shinchan, right here. Holy shit. That's funny. Wow. That's actually kind of funny, to be honest. Love these, love those, uh, damn. Literally no one. Yeah, honestly. I mean, life is actually pretty fu a pretty fun board game, but... I think it's actually behind me somewhere. I don't think you guys can see it, but... Unless I'm going crazy. Aw. Also, I love that that's Kubei's outfit, by the way. Oh my god, all of you are- all of you are being demons. That's crazy. I love how you're being everything you fear now, Shinpachi. Like, that's crazy. Oh, they can. Yeah, bro. That is theoretically how it works around here. What the fuck? Birthday profession? I knew he was going to say that! I didn't know he was going to say birthday fighters, and I have never seen Saint Seiya. Saint Seiya has come up a few times, though. That, 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 that's a pretty iconic old-school anime. Maybe I'll get the references one day. All right. Wow. Based? <laughs> B2 pattern. What in the world? I love how all three of them know what they're talking about. Even though Hasegawa... Like, it's what it actually makes sense that Zura and Gein have a code. But yeah, Hasegawa having a code is weird. Uh, 
Oh, you just... Thankfully, Kagura's not here. Oh my god, who's camping out the food? Is this Kagura? This has got to be my girl. Yep, saw that coming. Holy shit. I knew it was... Yeah, I literally... I've been thinking the entire time that Kagura's not here, and that's kind of weird. Because she was part of this too, but... That's amazing. Wow. Wow. Honestly, that's fair. What the fuck? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, get fucked. Get fucked. Oh, poor Cube. That's crazy. I'm not sure if I should call Cube my king or my queen, but either way, it's true. I guess the answer is just yes. Oh. Oh, is it going to be happy birthday or is it going to be something else? Are you guys... Birthday to you. Be birthday, dear Cube. <laughs> I love that there's subtitles for that, despite it being in English. Wild. No, he made it peak. Don't be haters. Bunch of rich haters. Yeah, it actually was. Even even your friends are like, what the hell? Nice! Random ass reference. Hit him with the episode 17. Literally just referencing something that, that only the hardcores would even remember. Damn, that's crazy. Oh no, they're going to fight over who gives the bouquet to Cube now. Like, this is so ridiculous. I mean, realistically, it probably should be Gein, but if it's not Gein, it should be uh, Katsura. They're the two that make the most sense, honestly. Or just let Ota, and they're ruining the flower. Good God. What is... It's going to be one flower. It's one flower. I knew it was going to be one. It's a sad flower, too. <laughs> Holy shit. They're base. That's who they are. Like, don't. Bro, bro, bro. Tojo is becoming a demon. Or a robot. Or fucking Cyclops. What the fuck? Oh lord, the presents are gonna go crazy. The tiny cake. A fucking car is wild, by the way. I mean, it looked like a practical car, to be fair. Honestly, 
That's honestly facts. Okay. See, see, I agree with what you just said, but clearly there was very little spirit into your gift, Gein, even though it's very, it, it's very on the money for you. Damn, holy shit, that's crazy. Aww. That's crazy. Bro, they're about... I, I don't know what... See, I know Shibachi's ready to kick this guy's ass. Yeah. You don't fuck... You don't fuck with Shimpachi's sister. And what's scary is Shimpachi is scary, but... Otai's way scarier. That's the ir irony of this. Oh, hey, it's classism. Some good old-fashioned classism. Damn, you're, go back to your hovel. It's crazy. Go home beggars is crazy, too. Unironic classism here. This is where, uh, this is where, this is where Cube is gonna step in. Now, which one is he talking to? Yeah, I had a feeling. Yep, yep, yep. Damn! Let's go. He's That's crazy. That's crazy. They all just showed up because it's a fancy party. <laughs> Holy shit. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah, that's... Yeah. It's gonna be a much, much more music party. How much do you want to bet Shinosuke stays to get some of that good-ass food? Wow. That was crazy. Yeah, now it's finally a party. Is that... Is that Shinosuke? Who was that standing? There was a random motherfucker just hanging out. Brone wants some good eating, right? You better get to it before Kagura eats all of it. Yeah. Oh, what a... Dude, you're so based. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, no, it was part of the plan. That's crazy. Well, now it actually feels like an in intimate party. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's called manipulation, bro. Hey. Damn. Aw. That's awesome, dude. This was such a cute episode. The only thing I didn't like about this episode was we needed more Cubay. Like, for an episode about Cubay's birthday party, I wish we got a little more Cubay in it, you know? Like, it was still... Cubay wasn't really that much of a focus. Aw, oh, and they're all just playing life and fighting each other and... Just having a ridiculous good old fashioned time. That's awesome. I'm really comfortable. Like this setup, sometimes, 
like I said, sometimes even even early in the recording, my back's really struggling, but I'm actually pretty comfortable tonight, which bodes well for me. <laughs> I will say this quote unquote season is off to a very adorable start. Pretty much all all the content has been really lighthearted and fun, which I've honestly kind of appreciated because the show had been getting pretty intense pretty consistently for a while, and especially coming off the Yoshiwari arc. It makes sense to kind of chill out a little bit. Oh, poor Sachan. We need some Sachan focus too. Wait, wait for it. Bam! <laughs> that gets me every time. Do, do, do. Damn, the preview graphic out here coming up before the preview even starts is crazy. Um, okay. That was episode 154 of Game Tama, and it was about a birthday party for Kube, and that's awesome. That was really cute, really fun. Great episode. Like I said, my only complaint about that episode was for an episode about Kube's birthday party. I don't feel like we had enough Kube, given that's a character that I'm always clamoring for. In a similar vein to, like, Saratobi, it's like another character I just want to see more, right? I really want to see more of Yagyu, and um, it's always cool to see her. So, yeah, I'd love more. That That's really all there is to it, to be perfectly honest. Uh, great episode of Gintama, great start to the set. Really had a blast. Um, just a really wholesome episode. Like, even, I mean, like, obviously, like, we have a lot of, like, um, you know, emotionally, like, funny episodes with, like, strong emotional cores, various stuff. This was just really a wholesome episode. I mean, it, again, not overly silly, but just a really sweet little episode. Um, it was just cute. Like, I don't really have a lot to say about it. I feel like we've been having a fair few of these lately that have been very, um, straightforward. Just cool episodes, fun episodes, not really a whole lot to dive too deep into and I feel like this episode really fit into that definition of just being a chill episode of Gintama and that's really all there was to it nothing nothing special to talk about nothing too uh ridiculous in this episode nothing too serious or you know too overly interesting it was just a solid premise solid execution cool episode in this case a very wholesome sweet episode uh even though we didn't get to have some sweet ass birthday cake from Otai, which sucks, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, everything worked out. So cool episode. I enjoyed it. Great start to the set. Honestly, that was, that was really fun. Le episode 155 is called the reverse of the reverse of the reverse is the reverse. That is true because it's three reverses, right? So it's a triple negative, which makes it a negative. So you have reverse which is negative then of the reverse the reverse of the reverse is actually the is the opposite of reverse right so the reverse of the reverse is a double negative it cancels itself out so it's actually it's the reverse of the reverse it depends on what we're talking about words like let's say if we're talking forwards backwards reverse so in this case the reverse of the reverse is forward but the reverse of the reverse of the reverse is backwards because it's negative 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 the first two negatives cancel each other out which then leaves you with a third negative so basically if the if the reverses are odd numbered it's negative if the reverses are even numbered they'll cancel each other out and it's actually not reverse but because there's three reverses don't know why i put up two fingers but because there's three reverses it is in fact reverse so that is that title does make sense, as ridiculous as it is. The, 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 there's a possibility, if we're talking about reverse of reverse of reverse, that this could be some big brain, um, you know, giga brain death note bullshit type shit going on in this episode. And if that is, if in some way, shape, or form, this episode at all 
is like some big brain memes. Uh, it's probably going to be hilarious because anytime Gintama has had like stupid overanalyzation stuff bullshit going on every time it's hilarious so i'm kind of hoping that that whatever this is whatever triple reverse is going on is really funny and involves a lot of uh overthinking and overanalyzation and just a bunch of silly sauce but that is truly gonna be fun I, I i'm pretty confident that whatever the hell we're talking about with a triple reverse is gonna be ridiculous and fun i'm looking forward to it hope you guys are as well so let's not waste any more time and let's just jump right in to episode 155 of gintama all right let's check out episode 155 of gintama and three two one and play Okay, back to the whole, like, the television changes and stuff. Awesome. I remember when this happened. I'm old enough to remember when, like, the switches from, like, analog to digital. Wow, wow. Yeah, because this was at the end of an episode, and I kind of, like, half-skipped through it or whatever. What the fuck? All right, sure, why not? Absolutely ridiculous. I really like this opening. I hope you guys are enjoying the grind, by the way, because um, I haven't been able to really post in like the first few days of December because I've had various weird shit going on. Um, I've actually been able to record a little bit, um, but the posting barrage isn't going to start until technically today for me, but tomorrow uh, really, but it's technically today, because it's, like, three in the morning right now, so in, like, nine hours, uh, but there's gonna be a lot of double uploads coming, that'll involve, like, a Gintama upload and a non-Gintama upload, and then there'll be some days where I'll post, like, only one video, like, like, probably, like, the Arcane days will probably be just one video, because those videos are gonna all be, um, like, one of them is almost three out. One of them's, like, over two and a half hours, and the other two are, like, over three hours. So, those videos could sit by themselves. But a lot of the videos that, I'm, that are going to be coming out in December of this year are going to be... There's going to be a fair few double upload days, is just what I'm trying to say. Especially with some of the lighter posts. Cause like the final Spider-Man's gonna only be two episodes, the final Free Rin's only gonna be two episodes. So like not everything I'm posting is gonna be really big videos. In fact, probably not gonna be that many really big videos besides like the arcane ones. Is Hasagawa and Gintoki? Does Hasagawa wear those sandals? Yeah, he does. Okay. What? Get a job? That part's true. What is? Are 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 you saying that the spiral are responsible for your uh, mad owl lifestyle? Because uh, the spiral are a menace, but not in this series. Ah, we're gonna gamble. Interesting. That's like horse racing? What are we betting on here? Yeah, this feels like, yeah, yeah, this has got to be horse racing. Yep, yep. That part's true. But...
I mean, all of that du uh, trainer's comments, maybe, but almost no one bets with all that in mind, though. Oh, God, here we go. Talk it. Oh, God, here we go. Yep, they're going to try to big brain horse racing bets. I Again's like, fuck that shit. I love how all these guys look like the same person. And I don't mean that they're literally the same designs. Randomly, no subtitles. Okay. And then they show up later. I barely had time to read them. That's crazy. The fuck? Hey, some everyone has their own methods. Okay. So Gein's about to make tons of money, apparently. Oh my god, that that's wild. The bros moles are the the big dipper. That's crazy. I also like that this place is called Aura. Makes me want to watch JoJo's. Wow. Damn. Wow. Hey, you guys both failed equally. That part's true. Honestly. No. Damn. Damn. He had a chance to say that in like a hella Chad way, but instead he was like, no, not really. I also love that bro's just casually not wearing a shirt, too. Yeah, let's lose more money! I don't know how big horse racing is in Japan, honestly. I guess it's Oedo is the point, but there, but I, okay, we're sitting on the roof. What is this a freaking school anime now? Nothing good ever happens on the roof in Japan, potentially. I love how we're blaming it all on Gein. That's crazy. To be fair, his life didn't suck at one point. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna... Jesus Christ. We're really running this shit back. It all went to shit is really the long and short of it. This really feels like a lifetime ago. Because this was really early, Gintama. Huh. Yeah, and that's something that Gein, yeah, in, uh, inherently disagrees with on a fundamental level. Because he has his own Bushido that he lives by. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, and there it is. Pretty much.
which in some ways has worked out for Hasegawa, and in some ways it really hasn't. Yeah, it it is crazy. Yeah, it like the, the actual characters saying shit like that makes such a difference. Oh, I can't wait to see this again. Show it to me, please. Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Now it's just Madal. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this was such a sweet episode, too. Aww. They were chilling on the bench together. Yeah. That's something Kagura almost never does. Damn. Savage. Useless old man. Yes, you did. Damn, that's crazy. I love how we were just betting on horse racing and then this got all serious. A deep conversation between Hasegawa and Gintoki. Uh-huh. That part's true. We've never seen either of them win big before. Mm-hmm. I think gambling can be really fun, but you have to have really good self-control. And you have to have a set amount of money that you're willing to spend on your entertainment. If you win money, that's awesome. And you just accept the fact that you're spending that money on your entertainment through gambling. Oh no, that's why he wanted the money. Oh, that's crazy. Aww. Mm-hmm. God, I remember that. That was so crazy when he looked like that. Bro, all this fucking... All these ep different episodes. These different ridiculous moments. The freaking... Um, the... Um, oh my god. The, the episode where he was working at the conveyor belt sushi place was ridiculous. Gaslight, gatekeep, gene to gean boss, baby. Let's go. Mm hmm. Ace Attorney episode. Dude, he looks so hot in glasses. What the fuck? Mm hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. Damn. Damn. Dude, that episode was so amusing. Obviously, I have bias. Yeah, yeah, bro's a porn addict. I remember. Oh, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, honestly. You could tell in his voice how excited he was to adjourn that trial. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. Legendary. 
That was such a cool episode. I think it was just a one-parter, but it might have been a two-parter. Either way, it was amazing. Nothing funny about it. You don't have nothing. And that's the most important part, is not giving up. Hell yeah. All this build up just for the show to shit on it, him in a second, probably, but yeah. Damn. That part's true. No regrets! The final showdown, huh? Let's see it. Here we go! Dude, he's about to get cucked so hard. Lucky number 13, huh? Friday the 13th's coming up, too. I mean, what's... I'm curious how what the odds are in 13. Just away, huh? That's a cool name for a horse. So we're looking for the 13. Hey, cheap impact's cool, but it, it, it's not shave impact. And if you don't know, shave impact is the greatest thing of all time. Aw. I love how this is... Uh, it, uh, it, it, I, I almost feel like they should, at the end of the episode, make a meme about not encouraging gambling or something. Um, and just make it into, like, a meme meta thing. But, yeah. So, yeah, Gas and Humming and Cheap Impact have been, have been going wire to wire so far in the race. Oh my god, you asshole! No way. Wow, you asshole. Yeah, bro's like, I want my money. Yeah, honestly. Yes, yeah, exactly! <laughs> Based! Bro randomly decided to be a JoJo's character. Yeah, you need to become a protagonist. Yeah. That's crazy. That's wild. If that actually happens, that'd be crazy. No way. No way. It was a reverse of the reverse of the reverse. Bro, he debated him. He used opposite logic. He debated you. He debated you. Yep. Yep. The expl his explosive power. That's what they were talking about. What is this? Yep. Yep. 
Yo, what the fuck? The ultimate battle between the Madao and the protagonist. I swear when the third horse wins, I'm going to be so upset. I honestly need the four of the 13 to win this. It, dude, the random third horse. Or they're going to crash into each other. Or something ridiculous about to happen. Damn. That's a little unrealistic. It's not going to be like that head bobbing back and forth to that extent. Not that I've seen a, not that I'm a horse racing expert, but I've seen enough horse racing. Random third horse bullshit is coming. Don't cuck me. One of these two horses has to win. No way! Holy shit! Bro actually cooked! I swear to God if there's a disqualification or something. Bro actually cooked. But how much money did you win? You only bet 300 yen. Holy shit. Bro actually cooked. I swear if there's a DQ, I'm throwing something. That's crazy. Ew, ew, ew. The tears were one thing, but the... the... Oh, you... Oh my god, he tore up his thing. He tore up his thing. You idiot. You fucking idiot. You tore up... Yep. Yep. You fucking idiot. And you tore up your shit. Yeah, you idiot. You tore up your shit. And you tore it up. You fucking idiot. They double cucked themselves. Dude, I just... I, they, I was like, they're actually gonna fucking pull that shit. They're actually gonna... <gasps> what the fuck? What the hell? Excuse me? Bro, hit him with the will. It looks like there is something on the end of this. Yeah, that's too much time. There's gotta be something here. What the hell? Bro, let the glasses and the will? What the fuck? Uh... What the fuck is this Evangelion shot? What is happening? Yeah, honestly, fair. Yeah, fair. Honestly, yeah. Bro, they hit the four eternity again. What the hell? What the... What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh. <laughs> I hate this show, bro. Like, it was so obvious. Dude... I hate that I like, I was like, oh, they better not cuck me. One of these two horses better fucking win. Then, and then it actually happened. I was like, okay, I know how this works. I know how horse racing works. There's going to be a DQ. And, and, and of course, technically one of the horses won. Cheap Impact won. And Gintoki tore his fucking ticket. Oh, I hate this show. It's so stupid. But yeah, no, that was definitely really funny. Um, great episode. Uh, love, I always love the Hasegawa-centric episodes. And in, in this one, we actually um, went back in time and kind of looked back at some of the uh, older Hasegawa-centric episodes, which was pretty fun, pretty cool. 
And uh, yeah, I really did enjoy it. Like I said, this was a great episode of Gintama. It was a great... It was just great. Like, this episode was a really cool way to... Um, like I said, just continue the story of Hasegawa in general. And just kind of push further along with um, his stuff. Which uh, is always amusing. It definitely feels like a story that never ends. I do hope that we get to a... He's a... I know this sounds weird, but Hasegawa's a character that I want to see, like, the end of his arc, right? Like, I want... And I, I do hope that, in a non-mean way, we do get to see, like, the end of his journey with, um, you know, him finding his place in life, hopefully no longer being a Madao, you know, getting back with his wife, whatever, whatever they're gonna do with him. Um, because, bro, this show shits on my mans, like all the fucking time it's actually crazy how much they just fucking own this man's entire existence it's fucking ridiculous and i need this slander to end so i really want to see uh his story come to fruition now of course we're not even halfway through gintama so obviously it makes sense that we're presumably not even halfway through hasagawa's story but Still, like, he, I definitely really want him to actually come to a conclusion in his character arc, his story. Uh, which I just don't know if that's gonna happen or not, because it's hard to read with this show. Um, like, I, I feel like the, a lot of common story conventions, like, and, and how Gintama might or might not adhere to them is really tricky. Because I do think that this show despite doing everything in its power to feel nothing like a, a, a typical, like, Shonen Jump uh, battle anime um, or battle manga, I feel like at some time, it, it does have a tendency at times to actually act like one. Uh, so it does have that weird balance that makes, again, just makes the show ever the more unique. And I really can't tell... You know, I'm 155 episodes into Gintama now, and I still there's a lot of things that are still hard for me to grasp exactly kind of where this series and where uh, Sirachi kind of lands on certain things. And, like, that makes me harder to tell if, like, the Madao Hasegawa bit is just going to be an eternal bit forever or if we're actually going to get, like, a proper resolution to his character, like, let's say, in episode 314. Um... You know, that would be really cool. But uh, who knows what is in store for my man. But obviously, whatever the plan is or isn't, I'm sure we still have a long way to go and a lot more Hasegawa pain to endure, to suffer along with the boy. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. It's going to be really exciting to see where we go with, uh, with him. Moving forward, because there's obviously a lot more to do. So this has kind of been, like, three episodes that have kind of all been pretty seemingly, like, self-contained episodes, kind of solo episodes, because 154 so it was, was, a, was a one-off QB birthday episode. 155 was a Gintoki and Hasegawa bet on horse racing. And 156 is called... Entering a street vendor's stall requires a bit of courage. So maybe we're going to have some sort of festival, maybe, or just be some random street vendor stall. I don't know, but apparently it requires a bit of courage to enter the stall. Not sure what that necessarily would be referring to. Um, I think I need a little context on that one because, uh, you know, I, I, I honestly, with that type of thing, I feel like you just fuck it, we ball. Like, I, I don't know what type of courage is required here, but... Uh, something silly is probably going on. It's also a set ending episode, which normally I feel like means this is going to be like hype and like a crazy episode or like a really strong episode. Honestly, I kind of more so feel like, uh, part of me wonders, cause I know that I can, and who knows, but I know that I, I, I'm pretty sure that like, I was told that I could like combine the next two sets into a video if I wanted to, I'm pretty sure. So I feel, I'm wondering if maybe the next two sets are like a big arc or something. I wouldn't be surprised there. And it could be a deal where like this episode is just the episode before an arc starts. It could be as simple as that, to be honest. But 
Whatever the case may be, I'm pretty excited. I'm ready to jump in to episode 156 of Gintama, and I hope you guys are as well. So let's not mess around, and let's get right to it. All right, let's check out episode 156 of Gintama. Here we are another day doing a single episode of Gintama. I'll probably be recording more later, but at that point I'll, I'll be in a different shirt, even though it'll technically be the same day, but that's just... How things go. Anyways, let's jump into episode 156 of Gintama in 3, 2, 1, and play. I might actually focus on other stuff. Who knows? This is a new... Oh. Okay. Yeah. I, I definitely recognize an MGM parody from Gintama using Elizabeth. Elizabeth's first Aaron. Okay. Elizabeth. Zora. No, no, no. Who's the last character that's appearing? Everybody in that... <laughs> okay. Okay. The rest of them just don't get credits. Okay. Would you run an errand for me? Yes, an errand. Today there is a special shampoo sale at Great Edo Super Supermarket. Don't look at me like that. I am after... You know what's funny is I could read it fast enough if it was just regular. Um, I am after all... I am after all wanted because I'm a... Yeah, yeah, okay, he's wanted. Yes. Shopping at the supermarket in broad daylight is awkward. Yep. I wonder if this is going to be like... You can keep the change. Nice. That's all you need to say. This is pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. It's good to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth they've been slacking on Elizabeth content lately. What the fuck? What the? Jesus Christ! Oh no, not the Cabaret Club. Resist the urge, Elizabeth! Okay, good job. Yeah, that, that saved. Damn, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, she wanted some of that, she wanted some of that good shit, bro. Elizabeth, Elizabeth's all about the titties, apparently. And the flowers. Okay, oh, it wasn't the, well, okay. What the fuck, dude? Damn. Who knew Elizabeth was a raging lesbian? <laughs> the fact that it's like a that it's the 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 gimmick. Uh, see, I'm not, I don't even want to break the fourth wall and actually discuss that. I'm just gonna talk about how Elizabeth's goaded. Treat your hemorrhoids is crazy. I wonder what's keeping Elizabeth. Literal dancing. Like, damn, why is Elizabeth such a good dancer? Man, this sh show should be about Zura and Elizabeth's ballet journey or some shit. Or it could just be Yuri on Ice with Elizabeth and... Honestly, Yuri on Ice, a uh, Gintama version of Yuri on Ice sounds fucking incredible, I'm not gonna lie. I can't read Japanese. Shouts to Michael. Damn, you're literally asking all the worst people to ask. <laughs> Pedoro, okay. I bet. Wow. Bro just yapped and yapped and yapped. Ah, yes, you just wasted 20 minutes of our time. Good job, bro. The episode's over now, bro. You spent 20 minutes on that bit. And of course you don't have a clue where the story is, you dumbass. Yeah, you deserve that. You've incited the rage of the great Elizabeth. That's crazy. Hey, Kagura! You don't have the sign! No! No! 
Yeah. Yeah, you yeeted it at a dude. I mean, it was good in the moment, but... Now, how do you communicate? Damn, I can feel the intensity of the kanji right now. What the fuck? Oh. And of course, and of course, Kagura no... Fucking Kagura no sells it. It looks, I think, yeah, it looks like it's, it, oh, what, what, what'd you get wrong? What the fuck is it? What's wrong? Conditioner. Damn, after all that, after all that, you get conditioner. Damn, you tried so hard. You were so close. Wow. Don't worry, Zura, your hair is perfect. Don't lie to me. Damn, Elizabeth literally about to commit murder. Damn, some 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 weird dude just came out of Elizabeth's mouth. That's crazy. You finally murdered Zora. What the fuck? I don't know how I feel about that ending. Interesting. So we have a shorter episode because we spent five minutes on some creepy... Some guy was inside of our lovely Elizabeth. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was really funny, I will admit. Like, that was entertaining. I didn't appreciate having to read sideways uh, subtitles, but that was amusing. Maybe a little too long, to be honest. I don't know if that deserved five minutes, but obviously they had a uh, shorter story to tell in this episode. Generation. One way. New generation. God, that's so ridiculous. Just... Fucking Zoro riding freaking Starship Elizabeth there. Love it, though. Definitely a pretty good OP. And usually I'm not a fan of the random English in the middle of Japanese songs, but Stairway Generation, something about that's just, you gotta say that in English. I don't even know how to explain it. Ooh, okay, okay. That's an interesting thing to walk in. Entering a street vendor stall requires a bit of courage. I talked about this uh, the other day when I, uh, before I cut off for the previous episode's reaction, so I didn't bother before the, um, you know. For you guys, it just goes right through, so. Okay. Sounds like Game Toki, but we're in like a first person POV for some reason. Damn, that's that's wild. Damn. Interesting. Bro has strawberry milk. Nice. Wow. Apparently it was, it was, uh, the writers slash producers, director, God knows who else, and Sirachi, and it was literally the opposite of what you said, you dumbass. Are we going to stay on this shot for the entire episode? That It feels like Gintama's doing one of those Gintama things again. Yes, the viewers are all watching. It's almost like a live stream. He's, bro's got a camera on his head. Yeah. 
Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh god, they're gonna they're gonna challenge my voice act oh no. I'm so bad with Japanese seiyus. I'm gonna get fucked, bro. My voice uh, the my voice acting ears. I mean obviously this is Gin Toki, but Dude, I wanna get a better look at that food those food options, bro. And then I probably wanna eat litter almost all of it. Oh, the sake's in there, too? Oh, who's walking in? Who's walk? You're the condo? I'm gonna assume condo. Because they know who each other are. That sounds good. Oh, it's fucking... Oh, it's fucking... I honestly thought that was Kondo. It's Hijikata, obviously. Who the fuck? What just happened? Yeah, you fucking liar. Anywhere that gives you your the right amount of mayonnaise is your shit. Oh, okay, now it's... Wow. Yeah, that would be condo. Honestly, fair. Totally not. <laughs> that definitely sounds like my boy Hijikata. Yes, eat shit and die. Yep, yep, that's our girl Otai. Yep. He really does. Potentially, but that's, you know... Yeah, it's just, bro, bro's upset, so he just yells, die. If you say so, bro. Interesting. I'm curious how you would have actually said it if you meant it. What the fuck? Daijoubu. Wow, wow, okay, now it's Kondo. Gory sounds crazy. Wow. Wow. Dude, how many people are going to enter this place? Yeah, I just realized who both of these potatoes are. Mayo Samurai-san is crazy. So we got Boss, Gori-san, and Mayo Samurai-san. This is a good trio. Wow. Oh shit, they saw a UFO! Good old UFO action. Wow, wow, wow. Really trying, really trying to misdirect there. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, I know. What are the odds? Yeah, he just put it together. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I love how he put together that 
that Hijikata and Gintoki know each other, but he still hasn't put together that Gori-san is the gorilla that Hijikata was talking about. Meo Samurai San is so good. Yep. Oh no. That's what he'll tell himself. I like how you describe that as a good guy. That's crazy. That part's true. That part's true. Wow. Damn, damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Damn. I, I can respect this man for trying to stand up for Gory Son. Oh shit. Pony John? Yo, that's crazy. What are the odds? The most awkward person to possibly show up keeps showing up. And he knows he doesn't want any part of that fried egg. I bet her food tastes worse than pony shit. Wow. Oh no, it's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. Okay, so who would show up that would fuck with Otai? Like, who who would Otai talk bad of? Because, because yeah, Kondo's already here. Yes, their hit points all went to zero. Yeah, he's literally dying. Literally, this is the end of Co Commander Kondo. He's literally GG'd. Ew. What the fuck? I, I'd kind of like to see this, I'm not going to lie. What the hell? Was this alien? O or the work of uh, Otai? Yeah, honestly. It's possible. That's crazy. The game is over. Wow. Nice. Damn. Okay, so so now so now it's just Otai and Gintoki. So now there's room for new characters to show up. But who would fuck with Otai or who would Otai not say something bad about besides Kondo that could show up and make this awkward? Yeah, no, they were like fuck this shit, we're out. I mean, who wouldn't, honestly? Honestly, I could see it. Gein is not happy about this. Interesting. Boni Samada! <laughs> I love it. Five times? Okay. Seems fair. Oh! Oh! Okay. Damn, all these people come here all the time, and Gein's like, what is wrong with these people? I, I'm wondering... I feel like there might be some plot twist with this episode. I wonder if there's something going on. You just never know with this show. They would do an episode on one shot. They would do an episode like this with no... With no punchline at the end, but they also would do it with a punchline at the end, so I don't know. Yeah, it's like everyone spilled... Okay, so Shimpachi's up next. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I should have thought of that, Shimpachi, but... 
Oh, shit. Oh, no. But it's interesting because it's like everyone spills their heart out to this guy, and that makes me wonder if there's something more in play. Chinkasu! Fucking dick trash is crazy. I mean... Oh, I don't blame Gintoki for that. Oh, no. Shinpachi going crazy. Dude, it is Otsu-chan jerk-up sessions must be wild. Wow, it's that thing. That's crazy. What What is happening? Why was that there? I, I'm so confused. I don't even know what the, that thing is called, but... Damn. Damn. Planning? Excuse me? That sounds horrifying. I agree. Just a little casual murder. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She already took out... Yeah, she already took out Kondo, so you're next, Gein. I feel like bro's about to say something crazy. Okay. The music's cooking now. Sure. I guess to some extent. Aww. That is a running theme in this show. People that that pretend that that shit on people that they love. King Kasu Samurai. Aww. That's awesome. Unrequited love, though. Holy shit, really? Really? Are we doing this? This feels like a, you know, having drinks with a girl. That's kind of, yeah, that's a little date-ish. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. All right, so, uh, it wasn't them. Yeah, you fucking trolls. Wow, actual gorilla. That's crazy. Wow. That was so stupid. I wonder if there's if there's any if there's any validity to that implying that Ultai and Gintoki is like a move at some point. Which like on one hand that'd be really cute. On the other hand, I'd be very sad if uh I'd be very sad if a girl lands Gin and her name is not Sachan, because that would be sad for me because Sachan deserves happiness. She deserves love. And um, there's only one man for her. And that's the ship that I want the most. But I also love love. So if if, if there's something there that, that, that could be interesting. I, I could see it. Be sure. Why not? Um, interesting though. That episode was a fucking meme and a half. Uh... I don't even know what to say to that. Like, I mean, the message. So obviously, regardless of, there was a punchline. They did have a fucking stupid punchline at the end. I figured there would be something dumb. I That was not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not, oh yeah, these people aren't actually the people. But again, they didn't show them. That's the meme. Sure. 
But what I will say, the actual, like, messaging behind it, like, how it is, like, this weird, like, unrequited love thing, it's, like, such a running theme in this show. There's so many characters that are, like, that act a certain way towards certain other characters, but that's not that not really representative of their true feelings. We see that, I mean, like, obviously, like, you know, Ultai and Kondo is a famous example, and Okita and Hijikata. Those are, like, the two that my mind jumps to, but there's so many of these in the show where, like, characters are, like, shitty to each other or to someone but that's not necessarily representative of how they really feel. That just seems like something that, like, Sirachi likes to do with his characters. So we get, like, a fuck ton of that in Gintama. And it, it's kind of, like, it, it works really well for the comedic elements of the show, right? Like, I think it plays really well into Gintama's comedy. Um, so, like, it's just funny and, like, it works in that regard. So it just kind of makes sense, right? Like, I feel like... Uh, even though I feel like he does it maybe a little too much, like there might be a little too many too many characters that fall into this, um, you know, with certain interactions with other characters, I will say that, like I said, it works, it bounces off of comedy really well, and obviously this show's amazing, and, and they managed to work really well with all of those um, dynamics and uh, make great interactions out of them. So it's hard for me to complain, although I do think it's definitely used a lot in this show, and, um, you know, it'd be nice to see it maybe a little bit less, even though it's really funny, and they do great stuff with it. Like, the condo stuff is ridiculous. Like I said, Okida and Hijikata's entire relationship is ridiculous. That's how you get stuff like the uh, the two-episode, the two-parter a little while back that where they, they spent two episodes being... Uh, you know, doing this whole fucking song and dance just for Okita to be revealed to be a massive fucking dick troll motherfucker. Like, it's just, it's so good. Um, and, and, and yeah. But yeah, that was a fun episode. This was a fun set. We got three just random ass episodes, all kind of one-offs. Um, and this one included a weird five-minute Elizabeth skit that was uh, in, like, silent movie form. And that was pretty amusing. Although I will say the highlight of the episode was definitely the main um, the main feature of this episode that came after that. The Elizabeth thing was, was cute. It was amusing. I think it was too long. I don't think it needed that amount of time. Uh, there were some funny moments in that. But I definitely think the um, street vendor stall kind of portion of the episode was definitely um, really fun. Really... Uh, you know, again, one of these clever ways that the show simultaneously does something interesting and unique while also spending as little money as possible on the production. Um, and, and that's what's funny about Gintama is be, it, it manages to be able to cut because of its unique form of comedy. They can also literally just play into the stupidity of Gintama in order to cut corners uh, on production, which is really cool. It's like a unique perk of this show. Uh, especially with it being obviously from this, you know, the the somewhat bygone era, although it's not completely dead, but the somewhat bygone era of, hey, we're going to release an episode every week and just keep going and going and going, which is the case with this show, um, given when it started and, you know, again, how long the uh, series is. But uh, yeah, especially with these type of shows, the fact that they're able to get some episodes like this and, and really have to do very minimal uh, production um is uh pretty sick and and cool for them but uh yeah very funny episode very amusing the bit at the end was funny you know one of those just classic gintama rug pulls like i said we got a very similar thing in the okita and hijikata uh two episode uh mini arc uh a few episodes back so like it's just a, one of those where they just play on a bit and then and then at the end it just you know rug pull is pretty much the bit of like hey you know this all of this was fucking meaningless, even though, again, much like with the Okita Hijikata stuff, there was still, like, a thematic significance to this, right? Like, the point that the, um, that the, um, uh, that the stall owner made, all of that was super valid and relevant to the real characters that the, they, they were, uh, swerving us, uh, to think we're talking in this episode like all of that still applies in the same vein that I feel like a lot of 
what we saw with Hijikata and Okita, even though it was a, uh, you know, it was just like a meme gambit thing. Like, all of that still applies, right? So it's like, that's what's funny. It's like, it's literally having your cake and eating it too, because you're making a mockery of it, but all this stuff still is actually real. And so it's all like this weird, stupid perception thing. It's really dumb that, that Gintama can get away with this, but this isn't the first time that Gintama gets away with something so stupid and makes me want to lose my mind, but that's the brilliance of Gintama. So great stuff. Really enjoyed the episode. Obviously, I watched the other two, uh, I, you know, the other two episodes at another time. So uh, this was kind of, kind of weird because I just recorded one episode and I might record some later, but I'm about to start editing, you know, the, uh, some videos and stuff. Like, I'm done recording for a while, so it's really weird to finish, re cap off a recording session uh, with a single episode of a show. But, hey, here we are. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, and uh, they'll be coming out, flying out every day. In fact, there might, there'll probably be some double, double upload days, too, throughout um, this coming portion of December. Who knows, this might even come out with another video. I'm not sure yet. But uh, anyways, if you want to support the channel, Patreon's down below in the description, yada, yada, yada. Without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.